lot of what integral speaks about can be found even without integral. People can convey the same meanings that Ken Wilber uh, would agree with without even having heard of Ken Wilber. This, I think, implies that such wisdom is cosmocentric. Uh, these sort of modes of being are transient, fluid states of consciousness, highly evolved, integrating, but not bound by maps or concepts. When we need to come down to Earth, specifically to express it in a language, you could call it or liken it to a great transmutation. The fluid, boundless, and natural state of being crystallizes, and one such crystal is integral. It serves as a beacon and a guide for us in this world, eventually dissolving back into the all. Truly, it's a lot like the Tao, or water, changing states from vapor to liquid, and then to ice. This isn't meant to be a critique of integral, just a metaphor that I found to be very moving. A crystallizing and free-flowing. Integral is like a river. It is both. It can freeze in the winter, thaw out, and flow in the summer. This means that, perhaps one day, more versions of integral will crystallize as this cosmocentric attitude begins to permeate civilization. This is all speculation, of course. But yes, back to inhalation, exhalation, involution, and evolution. Is we begin.